Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can create a tab layout in Flutter. And this is part 5 of Photo Editor app. And in this video, I will show you how you can create this type of tab layout. Basically, I did not create a tab layout because you know that in tab layout we have different pages. If I click on this button, a different page is open and if I click on this icon, a different page is open. But we don't need to create a new page in our project because we want when I click on this icon here a separate deviation is open and show the options so when I click on this icon you will see filters appear and when I click on this icon frames are open and later in the next video we provide the options of all these icons okay but in this video I only set for frame and filter so when the user click on the frame icon frames are open and when the user click on filter icons these filters are open okay so this is this tab layout is custom and I create all these icon inside a list view so if you want to put more icons inside this list view you can add easily and in that case this list view becomes scrollable and you can scroll the options here okay so now let's start the code and you will see I remove the frames and I remove the filters list view from here and put that options inside these icons. So now let's first I will tell you how you can create this type of list view and after that how you can create this type of frame and filters by clicking on these icons I create this list view and I create this frame list view in the previous video in this video I simply create this tab layout and after that I create on click options so first I create this tab layout and for this tab layout I write the code here and you will see this is the previous video code in the previous video I create I call here two functions one for frame and one for filter okay so now in this video I remove that functions and I write the code from here so here is a size box and inside this size box I create this list view and inside this list view I pass all these icons okay so for creating a list view you have to use a class which is expand and you can use a class for size box and if you use the class expand it take more space so that's why I use a size box with, with fixed height and give the color black and I call these tabs implement function and pass all the icons with this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 
तो बेसिकली दिस आई पास दिस इंटीजर्स बिकॉज आई राइट इफ कंडीशन हेयर्स सो इफ द सिलेक्ट ऑप्शन इज जीरो आई कॉल दिस फ्रेम ऑन इमेज फंक्शन व्हिच इज फोर फ्रेम्स एंड व्हेन यूजर सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन वन आई कॉल फिल्टर्स फंक्शन एंड आई आई सिंपली शो the pending text if user clicks on some other option like if user click on this option you will see this pending me message is showing because i write code for this buttons later so in this time i simply show this pending text okay so let's start from here and you will see i pass these icons and options inside this tabs implement function and inside this function you will see this is this tab implement functions and i create a text button write for code for on press so when user press some button i store that integer inside this select option so if user click on this icon i pass zero so in for very first time i store select option is equals to 0 and a equals to 0 so for very first time the select option is 0 so you will see if select option is equals to 0 i call the function frame so for very first time we see the frames on the screen okay okay so here i simply get the value of a and store into select option and i show the icons and color and size okay so this is the code for icons so if user click on some other icon like if user clicks on this filter icon i pass one so this one is assigned to this selected option inside this function so in this time the select option is one and you will see i write the if else condition here is that this size box so now this time the select option is equals to 1 so the filter color option function is called and this is the code for this whole domain okay and when the select option is equals to 0 you will see this frame function is called and this is the function which we will discuss in the previous video and if you look at this function here is this frame on image function and in the last video you will see i write the expand function here but in this video i remove that because the expand class take more space on this screen okay so that's why i use this size box and make it fix with this 50 height and then i create the list view and inside this list view 
I create an other function apply frame and pass the index and the frame. So inside this function, you will see here is that function, and simply I store the image to acid image and write the code for the frame. So this is the code we discussed in the previous video and if you don't watch that video please watch the previous videos and this is part 5 and you will see if the selected option is 1 we call this filter color function and Inside this function, I also remove that expand class and make it fix with size box class. Okay, and inside this, I create another function image container and we write the code and I make some changes inside this code also. First you will see I remove the expand class and this is the code for this filter options okay I, uh, I change this image because that image is too long and I change this image and I make some changes in this height and width and also if you want to add some more icons inside this list view so you can simply copy these all icons and paste and then refresh the app and you will see here this list view is scrollable okay so I remove these all icons and if you want to add more icons you will add here so if you want the code of this video I will provide the link in the description box and please like comment and subscribe my channel with your friends. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.